pardon me, excuse me. This is the debut of my weekend's project. Just kidding guys. Welcome to my new channel. It is this weekend's project. I've been wanting to do this for quite some time now. And I'm a father of two. 40 hour job. Life, house cars and it's been something that's always been on the back of my mind in fact the name of the channel uh, I created about a year and a half ago or so and I actually changed that name the name of my YouTube channel I just had a random YouTube channel and put that name on the YouTube channel thinking one day I'll do this but day has come there's going to be a lot of sacrifices on my end, um, time-wise. My purpose is solely to make one project every weekend uh, for people like you and I. That being said, on my very first project, uh, the video, as you can see right here, of my intro was not successful as you can see I cut my head off so needless to say let's start it fresh okay uh, the truck that I did this on uh, long gone uh, it's a friend's truck and it's not here anymore so it's not like I could have this truck come back here to redo it all over again so with a lot of editing magic uh, we can do a lot but not as much where I can repeat what happened here but with my head in the video so that being said let's get started guys welcome to the channel and I look forward to a lot to come project today's project is this 2008 f-150 it's a lariat the owner of this truck uh, had somebody back in back into him in a parking lot and I'm gonna go ahead and remove the front bumper and basically the whole purpose of us here in this channel is to be able to work on big projects with not all the correct tools that we can either not afford or simply makes no sense to use these tools once and then what do I do with this expensive tool I just spent that I don't need anymore um, so the purpose is to try to help you with tools we have lying around our garage or in our closet for those of us that don't live in a big house um, is it gonna be perfect Probably not, but um, I do have air tools which will speed up the process, but it's the same scenario. It's your ratchet, your hammer, your um, your sockets, etc. cetera. Um, again, tools that we have laying around. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Let's make things happen. As you can see, I work with the very expensive uh, snap-on tools and uh, you know, extremely expensive uh, air tools. Uh, no, those are Pittsburgh. Yep, there they are. I am gonna 
do a lot of the high speed camera stuff just to save you guys on all the unnecessary details. Things that, you know, you guys don't need to see. Otherwise, we'll just end up forwarding the video anyway. Why do I know? Because I do that. balance goes for my next magic trick I'm actually going to put these brackets back on um, and I am going to work some magic now the idea is to bring it forward and to Attach it to something sturdy that's not going to move, like my leg maybe. Um, and for that, we're most likely going to have to move the truck out of here. Take it somewhere in my backyard where I can trim it. I don't know, maybe a tree. You can totally pull on it and not have to worry about this coming apart. Now I swear to God I'm the luckiest guy on the planet because I've got a tree right here, right next to my dumpsters, where it smells great. And I think I'm gonna be able to do something about it. All right, so I just finished doing the passenger side bracket, and now I'm gonna do the driver side bracket. Uh, I'm not gonna videotape this being it's the same identical process, just on this side rather than the other side. All right, see you guys as soon as I'm done.
All right, so that's the finished product. Um, before anybody goes and says, well, I can see imperfections and I can tell, you know, look at that, it looks like crap. Uh, the goal here was to make it look better. Obviously, if I wanted it to look perfect, it would have required a lot more labor. Most likely replace that bumper. But the owner of the truck uses this truck not even as a daily driver grocery getter, but this is an actual work truck for construction. So, notice this is not something that needs to be perfect. That front lip here was completely caved in. It's actually not bad. And now this gentleman can use his truck again to go to work and it doesn't look bad at all hope you guys liked the video you just saw if you want to see more content like this one hit the subscribe button down below hit the little bell icon so you can get notified on my new videos I will be uploading videos every single Sunday so stay tuned for new content I am gonna be sticking around and I hope you do too